So I'm not going to lie, today's episode is very stressful. It's a mixture of things going wrong, portals breaking, and just all sorts going wrong in the process. Except we do manage to do something right in this episode at least. But yeah, enjoy. I actually hate walking into the nether, especially when I don't know what's going to be on the... Okay! Okay, I'm running away. I'm running away. I've spawned in a nether fortress, but in a very bad spot. Why am I here now? What? What the fuck's this portal? Where are you? One, I'm miles away from my base. How is this even possible? Yeah, yeah nether portals are weird in this match. Yeah, they're really fucking weird. Well, we noticed that. I'm in the dark forest somewhere. Whose portal is this? What is this never portal? Why is it just in the middle of nowhere on top of a fucking lava pit? Can you? Can you? All right, well, I don't know actually off by heart. I'm gonna have to look on my screenshot, so give me a second. No, you need to go back. Yeah, I'm just randomly in about a forest biome for some no apparent reason. Oh, why do I'm gonna make? I'm gonna make a fucking pistol bolt. Oh, that's. I can still sleep, please, that's... actually, because, you know, it's going dark and I don't wanna be in a dark forest biome at night. I'm actually so Who far away. I mean, all the walls in it. I hate walls so much. I know it's worth. I make this room, like, perfectly symmetrical and nice. I come back and it's just ruined. Yeah, but it's just shit, isn't it? I'm miles away. I am literally 2,000 blocks away from my original base. <laughs> How the fuck did it link up to that? I don't so cool. know. I'm, I'm breaking this portal. I'm breaking this fucking portal. I'm breaking this portal right now. Oh, piss off, mobs! Why is it not dark? Why is it not fucking light? <laughs> There's no wool in these chests either, I can't make a bird. Wait, you've got fucking string sugar bugs. <laughs> okay, look, shut up. <laughs> What's the kind of that? <laughs> I literally gave you a string sugar bugs. My actual fucking coordinates are this. I'll sleep for you, Will. Um, and I'll, I'll, link, I'll link the ball to mine. Well, I'll link your portals up here, okay? Keep going. Why? What? No, not this. Oh, I hate this. I need the mini map back. Now I've actually had the luxury of the mini map. I want it back so fucking badly. I'm going to fly to Will's base and link his portal up because I have a nervous breakdown. Just in case. I'm going to link his never a ceiling, though, so we can trick him. <laughs> I just want to get some nether right, Wait, it's all you, I ask. Do you want me to stay in the nether so you can get the cords? Mm. What's that so random like fucking portal just in the middle of a nether fortress oh, over yeah, lava? Yeah, you go to I'm gonna get the quads and you go to the Have you got obsidian? Wait, let me uh, give you obsidian. I can mine obsidian. No, no, I'll just give it some. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, go, you want the nether ceiling uh -huh. and I'll go to the yeah, base. Yeah, yeah the moon is a big range. GG. It needs to be what, 2000. Why are the numbers not right? Oh, how's this coordinate shit work again? No, I don't want to go down, I want to go up! Yeah, I'll fly that really fast. Yeah, yeah. My light here. I need a fucking light for now. For reasons like this. Just randomly getting teleported somewhere completely random. Oh, I need to go in the nether though and delete his portal. I'm gonna yeah, do his second can... portal. You can do that. You can have two portals, trust me, I'm big brain in this. I know there are 2,000 blocks left. Lucky now we have unlimited fireworks, which is nice. I'll literally pay for someone to get me an elytra at this point. I'm just fucking done with them not being able to fly. Me 10 euro. Yeah. 10 pounds and I'll get you an elytra. Deal. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a skin on League One. I want uh, the Yakuo skin, the DJ one. No, it's fine. I'll get... I just, I just need, I just need to borrow some. I'll even like... give it you with mending and unbreaking. I, I just, okay, I just need to borrow an elytra so one... I can get one. Well, I will give you it for one. Yes, <sighs> I'll give you my elytra right now. 
James, that I feel like I'm getting the short end of the stick here. Where are you getting that menu from? What do you mean? I found it in a dungeon chest. Did you actually? Yeah, my life actually has mended on it. I'm not even lying. <laughs> No, all I need is to borrow someone so I can just go and get one. Yeah, but then what about if you lose my elytra that has all my dank incense on? Where's your portal, though? I need to I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go into the nether and see where this fucking floats, man. It's just put me in the middle of the lava lake. Yeah, just what? You're now exactly. If you wait, go back it's like through. A staircase. Wait, there's yeah, wait, yeah, wait. yeah, yeah. So it links you up to the one. There's a nether forge right there. Yeah. Right, so that was an uneventful journey, wasn't it? Stupid waste of time. But I thought I'd include it because it was kind of funny. Uh, I didn't expect to be spawned like 2,000 blocks away from my base, but yeah, we move. Anyway, now guys, we're going on to our next step, which is actually finding a skeleton spawner. It is time to get XP, and I need bones and bone meal a lot because I need to make a tree farm, and all sorts of farms really that require bone meal. And it would just be nice to have bone meal, and the arrows as well, you know? So we can have bow fights, so we actually have bows. Okay, so yeah. Let's move on and find that skeleton spawner. You know me, I love to explore caves. So I'm hearing something here. So I'm gonna... So I basically just looked in here and I'm just gonna light this up. Oh, okay, never mind, it's just a bunch of mobs. False alarm, there is no spawner here. It's just a bunch of mobs. Oh, God, I guess we'll... Did we fight them? Did we fight... Oh, God, sorry, we'll just fight them. We'll see what happens. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. How many fucking skeletons? Gee. Okay, this is not fun in the slightest. Go away. Obviously, I'm searching for a skeleton spawner, by the way, as well. I've been wanting to get one for ages, and uh, it's been lucky again, haven't I? This cave's pretty cool, though. How many of you are they? Oh, man, look, is it down here? Are we down here? I'll find some diamonds though. I right know, dead end. Well, that's, that kind of sucks, so don't worry about that. But yeah, I've just been looking around. I got that, just did a bit of chopping wood, got some birch. Look. Ow! There's so many skeletons! Wait a minute. There's so many skeletons, man. Jeez, Jesus, how many are there? Go away! Oh god, it is skeleton spawner! Right, okay, that's a lot of skeletons. Oh, okay, right, right, right. Back the hell up here. Um, we're gonna have to do this very, very quickly. Heal up. Ouch. Okay. Now, luckily, I have very good armor on. Protection four, I think. Or three. Move out of my way. No more spawning. God. But yes, we found one. At last. At long lasty last. Well, and uh, that's not really good, the chests. But yeah, this is the spawner. We've got a spawner. So, after finding a spawner, I think it was time for a time lapse. Yeah, we're going to time lapse the skeleton farm. Nothing you haven't seen before, but I thought I'd time lapse it because it is pretty cool to watch build a spawner. Anyway, let's get started. I don't know if you've spotted the mistake in this time lapse, but uh, yeah, you cannot time lapse in full screen uh, when using Minecraft with two accounts, because all it does is just freeze it on the other screen. So my bad. So all you're basically seeing <laughs> is skip bits of what's going on. I really do apologize. I didn't expect this until I looked at the footage afterwards, but I decided to keep it anyway as a little hysterical moment for this series. And obviously we can look back on this in the future of how dumb this was. As you can see, nothing is happening right now. Oh, just skips there. Yep. But now it will time lapse properly because I'm in the, the on my other version of the account now, which I've got zoomed in for the time lapse reasons uh, as well, which is just uh, not really done the job because you can still see the, the armor and stuff. But it's fine. You can see exactly what I'm building. I'm building the skeleton hood, the water source stream to get the skeletons where they need to go. Yeah, this was a very strange time lapse. I don't think I'll be doing one like this again. But I do actually repeat this a bit a bit later on in the series as well. Which, uh, yeah, is a bit of a problem. So um, there's going to be like big things being made that I'm not going to show. I'm not going to do the same 
freeze frame time lapse. I only wanted to do it this time just to show how dumb it looks. And as you can see, it looks pretty dumb. Now, obviously, it's not doing that now because I'm on my actual account and not on my camera account. And you can see I'm just building things up now. But yeah, um, interesting to say the least. That's all I'm going to say. Just make sure when you ever have a camera account, make sure don't build in full screen. So guys, this farm works, as you can see. Now, I'm falling. voicing this over, it, by because the way, when I currently we, uh, recorded this, it was well like 30 well, degrees, by 35 degrees. So I had to actually have a fan on, uh, a big fan that's loud. And obviously, it was making a racket, as you saw. So I've decided to voice over this bit and explain the farm like this instead. Because I'm not being funny, guys. I think the last thing you want to hear is when I'm trying to speak. So yeah. Uh, yeah, this farm is very good, by the way. Very good. I'm very proud of this design. Nice and simple. Now, I was going to use this for dogs, but it turns out that dogs just die when you try and do this. So it's probably best not to use dogs for your skeleton farm. But yeah, it's efficient. It works. I'm getting XP, which is what I wanted. Now, this is obviously slow XP, but it's not as slow as that zombie farm. God, that was slow. But it is a good start. Obviously, later on in the series, we're going to be building either an enderman farm or a gold farm or a, or a guardian farm, say, to get better XP. But this will do for now. I need bones and I need arrows. So this is a very nice, simple skeleton farm. Not hard to build. Probably take you about 30 minutes just to set it up, mine the area out. It doesn't take long with an efficiency 5 pickaxe. Maybe bring a beacon. It wouldn't take as much long as at all. But yeah, it, it it's a good farm. It's a good starting XP farm for anyone who really just needs a bit of XP to get started. And uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go and build the sorting system bit now for this design. Okay, so I think it's time for another story. And it's about my dog again. Well, my dog ran off again. Yeah, it just happened again. For a different reason, though. He just ran off down the passage up to the estate again because he found a bone on the floor and wanted to find a place to eat it. To sit down and eat it. It was really strange. I... Not really too sure why he just ran off like that. Just because he found a bone on the floor. He could have just sat down and had it right there. But nope, he wanted privacy. And we ended up chasing him for half an hour. It was quite... I mean, it was good exercise. Don't be wrong. I don't get out that much for exercise, you know, with the gym shut. But, you know, it was quite interesting. Uh, I was just running around chasing my dog. Uh, he ran across two roads. So I was a bit worried about cars. Uh, but, you know, look, he did eventually come back. Just uh, We had to let him chew the bone first. Yeah, he's a bit naughty like that. You know, we really could do with uh, sorting that issue out. But he is young. He's only one. His name's Gilmore, by the way. And, uh, yeah, that's why I share, share it with you guys. Well, this uh, complicated sources system I'm trying to figure out right now. Didn't really know how else to word this video. So I thought I'd just tell a story. There you go. Okay, guys. Here we are. A completed system where bones and arrows are going into each other's system. And you've got the waste going into a bin. So, this all works. And I think that is going to conclude this episode. Thank you so much for watching, by the way. It's been a pleasure, as always. I'm going to stay here now, and AFK for a bit. And just get as many bones and levels as possible. And get some better enchantments on my stuff, off camera. And I'll see you for the next episode. Bye! I just totally realised that was probably the worst outro ever. Um, but yeah. Uh... Um, I don't really know how to end this. It's, um, God, um, uh, you know what, j j just, just see you later.